hi it's me let's vibe welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me if it's your first time here we travel around jamaica and i show you how beautiful jamaica is so today we have a treat for you as i always say we're going to puerto seco it's more than a beach now it's in i think it's discovery bay i'll put it on the thing when i remember um but that's where we're going so it's early but i'm starting off with our first clue salmon blue and we're wild <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about what run at the back but yes so it's a blue theme today yeah and second of all i'm giving you a clue for all those who wanted a clue or keep wondering you know who's this bc little lady um so as you can see i am a hold on let me stop um so i'm a proud past student of the school on the hill so if you could guess it's mount alvernia hi one of the best schools in Montego Bay, by the way. Um, okay, so now give me a fight. But um, one of the best high schools in Mobay, by the way, as I was saying. And I thoroughly enjoyed my experience at Mount Alverna. Some would call me enough because I was involved in a lot of things. But I don't regret a piece of it, yeah? Because it contributed to the person that I am today. And I'm happy for that, yeah? So, when I was in high school, what did I used to do? I used to play netball. I said, I think I said this already. Some of them believe at the point, but yeah. So, I did netball, track and field, choir, debate, and what else? Yeah, I think that was it. Four teams. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think all of them helped to shape me. Plus, I was doing all of the same things at church so just imagine that um so my ability to speak <laughs> i don't know well, you get the point what really are going on with this thing here i lean up lean up itself probably not lean up probably on my mind but anywho um yeah so my ability to speak yeah i won't say that i'm a singer like an extraordinary singer but i do have a little talent you can hold a little note um if you can see me or, or just listen to my voice follow the voice um yeah so i can i'm an alto you can probably detect that from oh, my voice sound. um yeah and debate look here i used to love debating so much there was a time when I would study my dictionary, you know, just for that, can you know, say, yeah, <laughs> it was a whole vibe. Back, well, back then, it was a whole vibe. Um, and, yeah, so, but that's about it in a nutshell, so stay tuned and I'll show y'all what is popping, all right? Cool. Really, though? I'm getting myself together. Here you are recording. Let me tell you. So, folks, I'm here putting a little Vaseline on my lips so I don't look all chapped up or whatever. Because I'm drinking. So, because at the time of morning it is, I have oats and um, cereal mixed together. I don't want, yeah. Mm -mm. But I asked what it got me feel for. Um, so. I was here because the oats kind of white up the mouth. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, let me fix that. Lo and behold, this thing has a thing for me. But anyhow, um, so I was just thinking about it and I'm like, you know, funny enough, because we're talking about high school. When I was in high school and I, I don't know if I got this. All right, phone a ring, hold on. So I'm making, I was saying before me, yeah. Um, while I'm trying to complete my breakfast before I do a pick up because yeah I take my tonic because today is a day of activities <laughs> so what I was saying um, when I was in high school yeah um, I had this personality that didn't really care much about what people thought to be honest, I feel like I enjoyed my childhood and I wish that for every child, right? 
you had some people who I feel like they live their adult lives in, in high school and that was it. So after high school, them done adult already. You know what I mean? So by the time you become an adult and you're coming into your own, they're already past that stage. And then um, you had some people who couldn't go to certain places, didn't want to go because they didn't want to be seen there. That could never be me. Um, trust me, if you laugh after me, I laugh after myself too. Because if it's funny enough for you to laugh, well, to all we can laugh. You know, I wasn't big on the peer pressure thing. So even now, um, so as you all may know, um, I don't have Instagram, X, or Twitter. I don't have, what's the new one called? I didn't have a Snapchat when it was out. And I don't have a, oh Lord, TikTok. Yeah? So every now and then people would be like, oh my gosh, don't you feel weird? Nope, not at all. And if I'm going on there, it's when I'm ready. You know what I mean? Like, why did not go force me? I don't want me to want to. And I think a lot of young people need to understand this because sometimes, though I get what, in terms of what they're trying to do, some of them for me now, and trying to get me modern, but a lot of young people, them friends would tell them, say, oh, let's try this or try that. Them go try and get in a problem. You know what I mean? And then your life is put on hold for a little bit because you took the suggestion from a friend. Look here. Don't make nobody force you into anything. If you're young, if you're a teenager and you're watching this, trust me, you still have life to live. Life does not end in high school. Take it from me. Um, yeah. And I think... But if anything, look here, I'm just coming into my own. <laughs> Don't follow me. But yeah, that's the reality. Like, I'm an adult now, so I get to be an adult, done with school, you know, have a work, all them little things there. So now I can be responsible. But, yeah, I look for somebody and ask somebody to come pick up, you know. But yeah, so young folks, don't, um, don't make nobody pressure you here. All them things that they're telling you all about and oh you need to try it and oh you need to this and that they'll still be around when you become an adult trust me they not around go no way this is where i am making a stop bonjour One, two, three, four. this traffic going into it look like it's spanish town or into town i don't know where the people are going but yeah look at this but when you're heading out of town it's like ooh, easy breezy all right folks so i'm jumping back on for the folks who know about this turn right here this is the turn to gc foster um this was where as i mentioned in one of my previous videos you know one of the time champs are keep a GC <laughs> but also if you had camps or like if you made a national team or so as a junior you know you, you got the camp at GC faster um yeah it have a vibe wasn't really my school in terms of the colors I don't know I just was not feeling the brown and thing but I mean GC still has its place and if you want to be a coach or anything athletic I think that's the space for you they offer a lot of stuff you can check out their website and that kind of thing but yeah just showing you all that i'm in a traffic now so i guess when i'm on, on the highway i'll show you all some things but yeah this is where i'm leaving it now i'm on the breeze out this time now i like the boat let me tell you well you were driving a pickup market no trust me the breeze will hit you and now my folks are in saint anne Folks, we're back again. We're just finishing the Mama Bay toll and the price has increased. So if you come with last year money, you now go work. Hi, afternoon or good morning. Let me do this up, man. I know someone put it in. Oh, here we go. Eighteen hundred. Oh, come and take it from Spanish Town. Yeah, take it. Angels. From angels is how much for the toll? No, not angels. Sorry. Uh -huh. 
2050 from Cayman and Spokes. So remember that. But if you take it from Angels, it's thank you, 1800. But it's still gone up. So bear that in mind. Make sure you don't come with no money. This would be the money shot. It's almost like you can't see the water. You see? It's it's almost like you can't see the water drip. Yeah. And, oh, wow. Oh, I can't see, but yeah. Believe me when I tell you. I'm watching, I'm watching the raindrops. Alrighty, folks. We're just about in Miami Bay. <laughs> with my church group yeah, a good little while before it got bougie and gentrified and, and nice and every word that you'd use to describe it no um, that was the last time I came but we we'll see it look no together we will see what's happening it's not as bright but hopefully by the time we get there and settle in the sun will be out so we can get a picture of what it really looks like when it's nice and sunny but we're in Discover Bay now. Alright, Here we are, folks. Wait, I look like we're so early. What's going on here? Let me see what's going on. Go outside of heat if I see anybody. So folks, I'm here, but I can't show y'all anything because the place is locked. No security. No, no. nobody. I don't see nobody. I see a truck up here, so, but I that's see a it. Truck up here. Folks, we got to turn. Everything. Wrong gate today. Alright, everything now. Alright, folks, we made it in. The bus is not in. Nobody has not reached yet. So we have the whole place to ourselves. A joke. <laughs> Box the place empty. I think we're here too early. Yeah, well, it's nice. I like to do them something when it's very quiet, so I don't have nobody want. I don't want to be involved. Involved. Ooh, this is nice. Wait, let me turn on show now. This is nice. I like the setup. It has a vibe. So if you've not been here before, this is what I'm looking at. You see people out, just workers are here now. And the breeze is nice too. And just the sound of the, the water. So we forget to take oh, I don't know, a souvenir place in us. So. Alright, so I guess when them open, I can show on a little bit more if I have time. But yeah, them have a souvenir shop as well. The place is just green and nice. This has a nice little vibe. I can't recall anything apart from the water. So when we were here the last. So this is I don't know what this is, but it looks like somewhere that you dine. Dining area. Yeah. Somebody has set up. Um huh. I can't remember none of this when I came the last time. It was more open pink. Whatever. Yeah, so that's the dining area. Yes, 
So we're just a little early, so I'm just walking through hunting and thing. I think this is the only part I remember that part that was to change now. So we go out this and jump off. This is a bar looking place. TV. I don't know if our TV Alright folks. With VC. Mash on us up. This is so cool. <laughs> I didn't find it, Michelle. Sure, no. Yeah. So click for any one of them. Click for French. Any, anyone, anyone, you decide. <laughs> I do that thing, you know? Yeah, who that people? Can you see that? Huh? Origin, I'm originally from Mobi. I live at all now. Alright, so I'm going show now. So yeah, you can't see me now. Puerto Rico bust me from them bar TV. <laughs> Never mind me. I'm excited about every little thing. Um, yeah, but the property opens at 10 and they close at 6, I think. Um, yeah. So yeah, with the boat. So I'm showing you all everything before it gets crowded. You see them all have pool here. Looks nice too. You know what I mean? Nice if I listen to the sound of the seawater just rushing in as we're walking. I'm gonna walk past, I'm gonna show you them. I don't know if you can see because I can't see a thing. And now, first, may I come since it gets to this? I like it though. We'll oh, say you have shower areas all around here so we can wash off and thing and thing. Oh, a couple of them too. On this side and on this side. So yeah, I mean, no worry about the water. Y'all know it was raining just now. Female, male. I think I'm going in. This one here to see what popping. It smells nice to do. Knock knock. Anybody home? And you have lockers and them things. See? You can do your thing. And there is moi. <laughs> Joe. But yeah, here we are. This is a nice little vibe. In the season of a vibe. You know what I mean? It's a vibe. And there is more. Yeah. Let's get myself together. Get on up out of here. We'll walk around a little bit more. All right, so let me show you. I'd like to show you the signs just in case you're wondering, but you see already, so let's see them of all of those things. Um, I am telling you, like it's a whole different vibe show. I'm a first aid station, I'm assuming, you know, just in case anything happens, as life happens, anywhere you go. So we're walking back this way. I wish I could show y'all VC China Sprint, but um, we can't show none of that. Okay, that means eh? I'd have a ton of people in there who probably wouldn't want to be in there. I'm gonna have a jerk shack. Well, because we didn't know our original thing, Jamaican stuff. Red Stripe. This is another bar. Oh, let me come around and show you properly. Here it is. You know, in the daytime it will be popping, but for right now, I mean, it's the daytime now, but you understand what I mean. Once the place is open, then everything is fine. Let's see the beach. To my place, yeah? This is what I remember. I just being on the beach. Alright, I'll probably go down there, you know? I feel like more I'll go down there. So this man give me a vibe, like. Now give me the true vibe of what I'm trying to capture for you. Alright, so we're out here. That thing out there, that obstacle course, wasn't there before. 
Morning, morning. This thing though, where you could, but it never kind of a boardwalk looking thing that's no longer board. That was there. And we would go to the sides and like jump off if you can't swim. If you couldn't, then you know, what was the thing? It looked like a, it was the, I don't know what was happening here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna spawn one time with all of you. And then, you know, I'll include like a little bit. Sea water, give me a run for my money. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll include like, you know, for the food and that kind of thing. It's a clips here and there. But I think that's about it in terms of me and wrapping out. And me and me twirling, that, that probably in the two, but yeah. Thanks for watching. We got Mount Alberta every time. Um, but if you have not subscribed yet, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's usually right below the video. Thank you. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, thank you so much for subscribing and joining with me. And let's continue to enjoy the tour. Usually I am Usually I'm not worried But for some reason the water just seems rough So I don't want to even Though this is um, Concrete and them thing there I'm a foot kind of feel Funny In other words I'm a bit nervous coming out here This is the first in a long time Though as I said it's concrete it feels so rough that I almost feel like I'm underwater right now you see I don't know if you can see how it's moving but yeah I don't know maybe because it was raining before but you see these there I you know before coming here I thought about this because I would try this but not today and not with how the water vibe acting all right so look at it from here folks see that Going good. I like it so far. Oops, pardon me. The sound is so relaxing though, but the walk over here kind of scary. Like it, it almost felt like this thing was moving as well. Look, oh my gosh, we wish we could have shown that a while ago. Alright, let me try and capture it. Let me see if I can do it this way. It might not have the same impact. Let me come off. Like even right here, so look deep you see like I wish we could have captured the thing good I don't think I'm doing a good job of it because once it gets to the shore like look at this like you can't see how how much it moves from being something there the right is so it looks shallow right and then like right here is deep that's how it looks it's kind of Interesting, you know, who now do that? Not touching it at all today.
So folks, this is just for in case you're planning to come here. I just want to make a note of it so you are aware. I'm giving myself some light. Why am I so dark? Anywho, um, if you're planning to come and you're taking your own food that is not allowed, also, um, you're not allowed to re-enter. So bear those things in mind when you're coming, all right? So when I tell you, I'm not worried so much, you believe me. That took us to have me away right now. But it's a vibe. For yourself, third place are still something nice. So I'm going with it. And there you have it, folks. That was Puerto Seco for you. I hope you enjoy the tour. For those who are from this area, I hope I did your place justice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you 